My name is Callie Backrack and I'm a film photographer. The first contact I remember with film is uh, my dad had a Pentax, I can't remember which one it was, but he had this bag in his closet and he wouldn't let me touch it. He's like, that's a professional camera, don't touch it. And I always just remember being like, ooh, I wanna, I wanna figure out that camera so bad. And, but uh, yeah, I didn't, he ended up selling that one, but uh, yeah, then uh, whenever I went on a camping trip with my brother like seven years ago, we did a uh, six and a half mile backpacking trek to Point Reyes. It's like, a, it's like an hour away from San Francisco. And we brought cameras. He gave me this one for like my birthday. And he's like, let's go shoot it out there. And I shot my first roll and I just like fell in love with it. And I just remember being so careful and being like, oh, I just don't want to break it. And now I, I feel like I'm a little bit more rough with it now. But yeah, that's pretty much my first introduction into it. At first, it really was just a hobby. Uh, for probably the first like five years, really, I would just buy film and then take it into the store and you know, go to the lab and get it developed. And I was getting pretty bored with that. Um, and I would you know just sit away on my closet and stuff. But then I took a class at State, and it was a darkroom technique class. And I don't know, it just it really showed me like how to do you know like develop your film and then print it in the dark room. And, yeah, that's whenever I realized, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna do film for the rest of my life because that's all I wanna do. Well, I, I like that with film, aesthetics is built in, you know, into the negatives. So you don't have to, you do need to figure out like exposure and shutter speed, but there's also a way that you can like manipulate your photos that I really enjoy with film that like, I'm sure you could do with digital too, but I don't know. I, I do like the, I like black and white mainly. Um, I do like color from time to time, but I like how there's like a warmness to it. I just like film meets all the needs that I, I want with my art, but also, uh, I don't know, I've tried digital and I just don't get the same results. Um, it is another, it's just another tool to use. I don't think that there should even be like really a debate, film versus digital, it's just whatever in your toolbox that you're gonna decide for your work, because uh, I've seen amazing, amazing digital photos and I've seen amazing film photos. So me personally, my preference is always gonna be film, but for other people, if they like digital better, then that's that's their business. Um, well, I feel like the main, my main themes are really just uh, like nostalgia. Um, I just think that it it's how I see things, how I like, inter how I see like, something that's beautiful and I want to take a picture of it or just something interesting and I feel like it just has all those qualities that I need from it so my favorite film stock right now is Rolly 400 retro so yeah that one's cool also uh, Piranha P30 and then coming in third is uh, Pro Image 100 my favorite camera is man it's like I love the RB67 but I do like my Canon Sure Shot. It's this tiny little 35 millimeter point and shoot. And it's just really fun to just like not worry about, just like automatically take the picture and have flash and everything. So yeah, I know I, I love that camera and actually just started working again. So that's cool. I like photographing probably like abandoned stuff on the side of the road. I like basically what we did today, like being in my car and then just swerving off to the side of the road. That's my style. I'll just, I like being on road trips and seeing something that catches my eye. Um, I don't really want, I want to stray away from taking pictures of locations of like specific places. And I want to start making like, I don't know, like, there's no other word for it, like actual works of art. Like that's what I want to start focusing on instead of just being like, oh, here I am in Mexico City, here I am in San Diego. I want it to be a little bit more like, oh, where is that? Like ask more questions than it shows, I guess. So yeah, that's what I'm going for right now. Probably like some, if I had all the resources, I would do like, you know, huge silver gelatin prints in a gallery. I would do like a multimodal gallery. I would have, you know, maybe one of those cute little, what's called cameras that we were talking about, the early digital cameras and have like some, a video playing of like maybe a, a road trip I went on in the desert or something like that. I feel like that's, that's the dream. 
I feel like I just enjoy the whole process. I think the hardest part of film is just getting over like learning about exposure and shutter speed. Like I'm not exactly advanced or anything, but I'm not a novice. And once I started getting used to like, you know, oh, what is the shutter speed going to be? What is the, what is the, you know, for the exposure and everything. I feel like I started getting more of a hang of it. Um, so I feel like there is a learning curve that you have to have to learn. But besides that, probably like shooting at night, I think that's probably pretty hard with film. Like astrophotography, I've tried it a few times, nothing's come out so far, so. I've had people be like, I show them my work and then they bring up their phones and they're like, look at this picture I took on the golf course. And honestly, I just say like, okay hey man, that's cool. I'm just staying in my own lane. I'm not gonna try and convince somebody my art and what I like to do, you know. I feel like on the spot, <laughs> it's hard to think of, but obviously like Vivian Meyer is one of my favorites. I love her style of street photography. I think it's really unique and uh, who else am I thinking of? Oh, Dorothea Lange. I feel like she, I just saw a documentary with her, so I just feel like she's, she's it, you know? She created so much amazing work and like, when it comes to photography, I guess like I like her style, but I just like her work ethic. You know, she was like, she was just doing photography all day long. Like even her, her grandchildren and stuff kind of said in this documentary that they weren't exactly close to her because she was so passionate about her craft, you know, and I can appreciate that, so. And she's also, you know, excellent with exposures. Yeah, well with film, it's like, you know, you only get the 36 exposures or the 10 exposures or the one exposure with, you know, four by five. But uh, yeah, so you, you really have to have like the moment of and you gotta breathe and take your time with it. And that's what I think I really enjoy about film photography is just, you know, that you have to take your time. You have to, it's moment of exposure stuff, you know, and I think there's something beautiful in that. I think the future is exciting and expensive. That's what I think. Um, I do feel like maybe because of the surgence and popularity that it could last longer than was thought a couple years ago, probably like 10 years ago. But uh, I don't know, film lives on, man. I don't think it's dying anytime soon. Hi, my name is Callie Backrack and I shoot film. <laughs>